Here we this go. This is the new motor from Paradox Kinetics. And I am sponsored by them, so I may be slightly biased. But we'll see. I'm uh, unboxing it here for the first time, so you're going to see it at the same time I do. So uh, I'm really quite excited, to be honest. Um, and this should be, ooh, wrong way up, everything but the battery, uh, which is coming in a couple of days. So. No big stress. Right, is that it? Let's do a lot then. I will probably go through that again, <laughs> just in case. Right, so let's start here. This looks like the juicy bit. So, uh, how do we get into that? That's kind of, it's kind of a little bit broken. And I'm guessing this is the main motor. But uh, possibly its own weight has broken it in packaging. Aha, letter to, to me. So, uh, all right, what we have here is looking juicy. So uh, let's just put our words on there and then we'll work our way back in there. Okay, so we have the little carbon, what's it that covers the drive unit? Uh, we've got the knife ready there. Ooh, it's tiny. Wow. So that's it, all built with the uh, XT, I think that's XT500, I can't remember them, but the, what the, uh, the radio control guys would be able to tell you what that is. Anyway, that's it, and that's the drive. Ooh, sounds good. And that, once it's assembled, goes on there to cover it from, protect it from rocks, etc. So that's the drive unit. Really rather nice, all carbon, real carbon. And then 4mm thick aluminium T6. So very posh, looks the best. Anything else in there? No, that's it. My letter is it? See what we've got in here. Wires, cranks. Very nice. So now the cranks will go with it. Be a shame to take off, as you can see in the background here. That's my bike I put it on, which is a full carbon, uh, intense M18, M16, sorry. So it's got the 500 quick carbon cranks that I've got to take off. It's a bit of a downer, but there's my throttle control. That looks really quite sturdy compared to the Chinese things. That's really good. Yeah. And then crank bolts. The other side of the crank, which is quite heavy. And I guess that's because it's got a lot. Oh, wow. I guess that's because it's got a lot too. They have, it's come with a rental 32 mil. They say they only use rental, so I mean, we, there's no guesses. No guessing necessary. We know that rental is just brilliant. You know, a couple of guys in Manchester that uh, decided to make their own trials bars back in the 60s, I think it was. Not where rental is, comes from. So that looks great. I'll just show the camera that one. That's really nice. That's another box panel. So what we've got going on there? Destructions. Burn immediately. Well, unlike everybody else, I read the instructions cover to cover before I do anything. That's the XT90 cable. I believe that's a charge cable. Um, there we go. I think there may be a spare. Yeah, I asked him for a spare. This is like a more rugged, ruggedized one for downhill applications. So that's great. I've got two cables. That's good. Now you've got the nuts and bolts. Oh, that's a really good idea. The uh, way they package that so that you can't put the wrong bolts in, that's great. The obligatory cable ties, always needed. Carbon again, where's nothing. Uh, a bit of shrink wrap for those connectors, I guess, when they've got to put them together. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a split link for the chain. And that is spaces for the bottom bracket, I'm guessing. And there is the single speed chain. The quality one too. Ah, your mountain bike looks. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. So uh, don't know if that's gonna focus, but it's, it's a chain. So uh, we've all seen chains before. Oh, oh baby. 
So this is the custom made by Paradox. The uh, there you go. It's if we can get that. I don't know, but uh, it's all custom made bottom bracket to fit this bike. And they dedicate them to each bike again. That's why that one's so wide because it's a one fifty mil bottom bracket to a one five eight rear. So it's a very big bike. And now we've got some Ickle Space. Is that there for the 24mm Isis crank? Looks like a Chromala crank. That's really nice. I did see an aluminium one. I mean, it isn't the lightest thing on earth, but I did want the tough stuff for the... That's the mounting bracket, I guess, for the, to mount it to the frame. And that's it for that box. Yeah. Last box, uh, what was missing? Not a lot. Uh, it must just be the brackets. More more of the brackets, I think. I can't think of anything else we're missing other than the battery, which is coming in a couple of days. Ah, charger. Yep, so there's a charger with donut leads. So that'll need a converter. And there's a spare. Oh no, that's charger 2 XT90 or whatever it is. Uh, I'm guessing this is a charger. So what have you got there? Oh yeah, pretty substantial looking charger. Yeah, that looks like this. So, uh, there we go. So actually, it's just a kettle lead, so I can just put my own kettle lead on there. And uh, I'm guessing it won't be 110, it could be though. I better check up on it. Um, yeah, all good quality gear. Right, very good. That is it. Basically, that's everything that we, we get from them. And there's everything there, as far as I can see, to put it on the bike. I mean, that, that's a go, that's a cut.